guys, welcome back to another episode of Neatly Planned. Today we're going to be doing something a little different as you guys can see. I'm going to be doing some gardening. Um, I decided to jump on this plant life kind of trend um, and I decided to get some house plants. Um, as you guys can see, I have a couple different ones. We're going to just be repotting them. Um, the first things that I grabbed of course are my garden gloves. I have a shovel some scissors, um, I have some potting soil, fertilizer, and leaf spray. I'm gonna list all that stuff down in the descriptions for you guys. Um, but this very first plant that I am repotting is called a ZZ plant. Um, all the plants that I picked, I picked them because they were um, supposed to be kind of like kill proof. Um, and so I wanted plants that were going to be easy to maintain, um, didn't require a lot of maintenance and upkeep, um, but then were also aesthetically pleasing and kind of matched the flow and vibe of my house. Um, my house is full of neutrals like grays and creams, so I thought the greens would be kind of a nice little pop of color. Um, also decided to finally get some house plants because there's tons of benefits um, to having house plants. So let's talk about the first and obvious one. Um, house plants help to improve the air quality. Of course, we're fighting a pandemic, so why not try to help improve the air in my home? Um, house plants are known to reduce the carbon dioxide levels in your home. It also helps to keep your air temperatures down and they release humidity um, from certain um, pollutions in the air. So. I thought this was a great one. Um, the pot that you see that I'm actually placing it in, I found it at Burlington. So Burlington had a great, my local Burlington had a great selection of pots. Pretty much all the ones that you see um, that I'm going to use in this video came from Burlington um, outside of two. Um, as you guys see, as I'm putting in the potting mix, I'm also um, mixing in the fertilizer, which is that pink shaker, um, and I'm mixing it up before I put my plant in there. Um, when I cut the plant out of the container that it came in, I kind of just loosened up the roots. This is what you see me doing, so I'm kind of shaking. I'm actually being a little rough. My husband says that I'm kind of disrupting the roots. You just kind of want to lightly shake them. Um, and then I'm going in, putting some more fertilizer, and then I'm going to build the dirt up. Um, because I don't want my plants leaning one way or the other. So if you don't put enough soil in, um, your plants will not be supported. And so um, they can break. Um, and then you just want to have enough dirt so that your pots don't look half full. Um, I bought a really big bag because I knew I was going to be potting several plants. So this is just me filling it. Um, this was a horrible day to do this. It was like 95 degrees and I was getting... <laughs> my back was blistering hot and I was sweating real bullets. So this was definitely not like a diva gardening. I was out in the heat um, doing this. So maybe decide to do it on a day that's cool or even in the evenings. But um, I'm very like when I have something that I want to do, I'm, it's just whatever time of day it is, I'm going to get it done. So I'm the crazy lady outside digging in the weeds <laughs> um, at the top of the heat for the day. So as you guys can see, I'm just spraying it with um, this. It's basically like a leaf shine. You can also use just a regular water bottle. I think neem oil works really well too for plants if you want to add shine to it. Um, as you guys can see, I have bought a fiddle leaf a few weeks before this. This was kind of my tester to see if I could actually maintain it or if I was going to like having plants in my home. So the fiddle is already... Um, the fiddle is already potted, but I'm going to show you guys once I line them all up. Um, but the fiddle leaf I got at my local Home Depot, as well as the ZZ plant that I just um, potted. And then I picked up a couple of succ succulents. Um, and I found one that was like this lighter green. And then I found this little baby succulent that was like a darker green. Um, and again, you can combine them just because they don't come potted together. You can kind of make it your own. So if you're looking for um, particular colors, like if you like a lighter green or a darker green, you can mix them together. Um, you can also buy plants that are already pre-potted together, but it was just cheaper for me to get this little one and mix it in with a bigger one. Same thing, I got that pot that's like a smaller version of the pot that I got. Um, I have my ZZ plant in that I also got from Burlington. And the price points were crazy good. I looked at some pots that were on Wayfair. I looked at my local TJ Maxx. The big pot that my ZZ plant um, that I put it in, that one was 
$14.99. Yes, $14.99. And then these smaller pots um, were $4.99. You cannot beat that. So definitely check out your local Burlington. Um, Ross has a lot of like gardening um, goods or pots to choose from. I think pots are just kind of like home plants are just the trendy thing. So there's a lot more options. Um, my fiddle leaf pot, I actually got that from Walmart, that white one with the stand. And that one was $29.99. And as you can see, I'm just cutting off. Um, when I bought this pot, pot, when I bought the succulent, it was out, um, sitting out, and so it had a couple leaves that were dead. I just trimmed them off. Um, again, I'm mixing the potting soil and the fertilizer together, and I'm building it all the way up. Again, succulents are like easy, carefree. They like to be in extremely dry soil, so you don't have to do a lot of watering. You don't want to overwater succulents um, because they will die. So. Again, I wanted things that were low, low maintenance. So some of the other benefits, um, like me, I have a daughter and she tends to have allergies and be a little bit more congested. Um, and so indoor plants are kind of a natural humidifier. Um, they just kind of help to kind of bring moisture into the air. So again, if you are running a humidifier, having some indoor plants, might be a good option for you if you struggle with allergies. And then that spray, um, I sprayed it on the succulents, but after reading it, that miracle Go Grow leaf spray is actually not for succulents. So don't spray that on your succulents. And again, I'm just mixing the potting soil and the fertilizer together. Um, you want to fertilize your indoor plants every six weeks. So you just put that in and mix it up. So I'm just, again, this plant that I'm planting now is my aloe plant. Um, aloe, again, has so many great remedies. Again, my husband and I have locks, so you can use aloe in your hair. Um, I was recently in the pool. As you guys can see, I'm a little like mermaid, so I love being out. Um, and my sunscreen, if you know you forget to reapply it, I got I've gotten sunburn really bad. So aloe is great for that. Um, just so many things that you can use aloe for. Um, and so I definitely wanted to get an aloe plant to have in the house. Just again for cuts, for burns, um, you can use aloe for that. So some of them are for aesthetics, and then some actually um, will be actually cut off and used. And I'm just picking that dirt up from the table, putting it in my pot because we don't want to be wasteful. And again, this is another low maintenance, does not require a lot of watering. So if you're trying to figure out what plants will be best for you, just again, look at them. All of these plants do require the larger house plants, um, require indoor bright lights. So they need to be in front of a window. I have tons of lights and windows in my home so these plants worked well for me um, and I picked them specifically for that I picked larger plants so that they could stand alone so all of these plants will be sitting on the ground they won't be um, sitting on top of any furniture or on, or on any tables and then all of these will grow as well so um, keep that in mind when you're looking for house plants how big do you want them to grow and um, what kind of lighting do they require um, those were just some of the things that I kept in mind when I was choosing plants. Now, this plant is called a snake eye. Again, low maintenance. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like kill proof. Um, this one was really, really hard to get out of the packaging for whatever reason. It was giving me a run for my money. So I just took my time cutting down the sides. Again, you don't want to disrupt the roots. You don't want um, to really, you know, harm the plant and trying to take it out of the packaging. Um, also, if you're not necessarily into like the glass pots, um, you can also get, um, people are using like the wicker baskets and putting the pots into um, this particular pot I got at my local Ross. And I think this price was $19.99. I'm taking all my tags out. Um, again, if they're cardboard tags, you can really leave them in there. The soil, um, they'll dissolve into the soil if, you know, if we're trying to be, um, recycle, reuse. Um, again, I'm just kind of, um, Loosening up those roots, um, adding the fertilizer, same thing, just kind of like rinse and repeat, do the same thing for each one. 
Um, but this one did require me to go in and put um, more soil kind of in between the leaves um, just for whatever reason, just to help um, support them. So I'm just going in, adding the fertilizer. As you see, I'm just shaking it in there. Um, all of these items I got at my local Home Depot. And so I'm just mixing it up. You got to kind of get your hands dirty a little bit. Um, I love gardening. Gardening was something that I did with my grandmother. So it's very peaceful for me. Getting into another benefit of having um, just indoor plants. Um, they are good for your mental health. Um, gardening, I actually did a garden in my backyard. And these house plants, just having something to tend to every day. You know, we can't get out. We can't do the things that we love. Um, but this kind of is a nice distraction. So getting, watering my plants, getting up every day, opening up the windows. Um, it's been really good for me. Um, just good energy, that natural sunlight, vitamin D. Um, it is just good for you. So if you are looking for kind of a mood booster, um, I also follow an Instagram um, called Black Girls Who Garden. And oh my God, the inspiration on that Instagram feed is crazy. Um, I was also inspired by my girl Siobhan, this well planned life on Instagram. She has a beautiful garden. So I definitely attempted, this is my first year having a garden in our new home. So I'm really excited for next year and some of the things that we're going to do. And I think I'm definitely going to expand my garden and maybe I'll do a video showing just kind of my little, my little baby garden and things that I, um, planted this year. So I'm just kind of going around leveling at um, leveling the dirt out in it. It was hot, you guys. It was really, really hot. I don't know why I had my hair down. I should have pulled it back, but I think that would have required me to stop. <laughs> so I'm just scooping my dirt, holding, you know, it looks like I'm hurt holding the plants, um, the leaves really tight, but I'm really not. But just enough so I could get that dirt really along the edges there. And I look small, but I got some muscles. These pots were extremely heavy after I filled them. And my husband had to actually lift them into the house because they were heavy. Now, remember when you're buying these, um, all of these pots do have um, drainage at the bottom. So I actually bought a couple of the little clear trays you can get at Home Depot. So when you're watering, the water, of course, does not go. So it doesn't end up on your floor. So I definitely advise for you to get those. Some pots, when you buy them, they will come with that kind of little... Um, drain tray um, but these pots that I bought did not but I'm not mad about that because the price was great and the little plastic trays you, I mean they're see-through you can't see them um, and they're like a dollar or 70 cents at Home Depot so it's a win-win this one was really really hard to get the dirt in between and it was really deep as well. So just make sure as you're putting your dirt in that you're kind of pushing it down and packing it in there um, because you don't you don't want your plant to fall over or the leaves to possibly, for your leaves to possibly break. And all my garden tools I got at Ross as well. I got a set and I think it was like $6.99 for all the different little accessory tools that you need for gardening. So you don't have to spend a ton of money. So I'm just about done. I'm just putting some finishing touches on it. And then also one of the final benefits and kind of a big thing for me is houseplants are a natural air freshener. So again, a lot of like the spray cans and the plugins can have some harmful chemicals in it. So if you are looking to just kind of freshen your house up, having some indoor plants, they are a natural air freshener. Um, I love on Saturdays to open up my windows and just let fresh air blow through my house. Um, I hate that like stale home smell. So I love to open it up, let some fresh air in, get some good natural light in your home. Um, and then your plants will give it also a freshness. So definitely things to consider um, when thinking about getting some indoor plants. All right, guys, so I'm just about done. I'm going to be cleaning up, just spraying the last things. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you know what I always say. Until next time, guys, keep sweet.
Thank you.